think I'd catch this uh, by watching, I think it's Xbox Video. I think that's where I saw this before the premiere date. Comedy Central's new uh, cartoon, Moonbeam City. And it roped me in with the artwork. It's like, hey, this kind of looks like Patrick Nagel Prince. Uh, the guy who did the, the famous Duran Duran Rio album cover uh, did various prints in Playboy, late 70s and 80s. And that's what it is. It's, uh, you know, 2015, so here's your 80s nostalgia. Miami Vice as a comedy, uh, but lacking. I mean, I don't like to review a TV series so much, but uh, I'm only going to be watching the pilot, so I'll tell you that, it's pretty, uh, pretty bland. Rob Lowe is basically uh, Sonny Crockett here, and he's a hotshot cop. He gets demoted down to number two in the precinct by a uh, strong female chief, played by uh, Elizabeth Banks voiced by, rather, his sidekick is voiced by Kate Mara, who does not have a distinct voice and has no reason being here for that reason. And uh, Will Forte is kind of like his nemesis, the new number one, or, or vying, or whatever, he's his rival. Main dude, don't even remember his damn name, falls in love with some singer, works as her manager, and a cop managing her music career from the office, and, uh, Gets her more gigs at shopping malls, but her like uh, rain stick pro uh, performer in her band is actually like a disguised. He, he's like the the kingpin of the crime wave that's occurring, and so they find out that more crime happens uh, wherever she travels. <laughs> yeah, if it sounds like it's not good, it's because it isn't. Moonbeam City. It's like, hey, this is 80s-like. You guys you're gonna end up watching this because it's like the 80s. Is that the way things go now? I wouldn't expect this to really get a season two. I mean, to even have a second episode seems a bit alarming. Like, I, I mean, it's just like, it's a one-off. Okay, we get the joke. Things look like album art, okay? No, I, in a place like your Archer, too. Main guy, he's Archer, there you go. Archer's kind of like James Bond. Well, this guy, he's kind of like Sonny Crockett. Let's talk about diversity here. I'm not usually one to say there's a problem with it, but when a show is as diverse as Miami Vice in 1984, is getting ripped off by an all-white cast, uh, you got kind of raises some flags, doesn't it? <laughs> Moonbeam City, don't even bother.